Hey everyone, Nick Cubis here, and today I'll be demonstrating how to set up and fine tune an offset pedal in just three easy stages. After getting everything out of the box, the first step I take is to adjust the center beater housing and the pedals separately. Having a consistent foundation while setting up the pedal is crucial to keep everything balanced as we move forward. Make sure the shackles on top of the springs are all tightened to the same position. On the end of the drive shafts where the spring shackles attach, there are small rectangular notches that I use to line them all up. Keep in mind that the springs should be attached on the bottom but not tightened. Think of it like finger tightening lugs on a snare drum before beginning the tuning process. After following those steps for the center mount, the pedals are next. I like to set the pedals next to each other so I can compare the angle of the drive shafts while I'm setting up the springs. Once that's all finished, it's time to move on to stage two. Now that the springs are at baseline tension and are attached at the right angle, it's time to add the beaters, bring the springs up to tension, and finally add the drive rods. Start by adding the beaters. Make sure the beater mounts are adjusted to the same angle by lining up the holes in one of the mounts and matching the angle with the other. Don't worry about the angle of the beater just yet, as it'll be affected when the springs are brought up to tension. The end result should leave the beater about 45 degrees away from the bass drum head. Now it's time to tighten the springs. For the center mount, I keep the springs slightly tighter than I do on the pedals, around 10 to 20 turns of the bottom bolt work. This keeps the pedal smooth and reacting properly. An easy trick to test how evenly adjusted your beaters are is to pull them back and release at the same time. If they swing back and forth together, that means you're on the right track. When it comes to the pedals themselves, I set the springs to around 5 to 15 turns of the bottom bolt. This preserves a relaxed and controlled feel along with maintaining a proper footboard height. Now it's time to put it all together by adding the drive rods. At this point, it's a process of trial and error to reach your desired feel. There are a few key aspects to keep in mind during this stage. Number one, make uniform adjustments. Since this is a symmetrical pedal, the goal is to keep the right and left sides feeling balanced. Whenever an adjustment needs to be made, make sure it is done evenly on both sides of the pedal. Number two, adjust the pedal units and the center mount separately. For example, if you're having an issue with the feel of the pedals themselves, only adjust the springs found on the pedal units. On the contrary, if you are having problems with your beaters, only adjust the springs found on the center unit. While adjusting, you should be thinking of these parts as individuals working together, not as one whole unit. Number three, make small adjustments. This will help you keep track of where you are in the process, help you undo mistakes, and the end result will be a more finely tuned pedal. And finally, it's all about patience. When dealing with a pedal that has so many moving parts and can be fine-tuned to such a degree, it's easy to get overwhelmed. So take your time, come back to it if you need to. It'll all be worth it when you have a pedal that feels exactly the way you want it because it was fine-tuned by and for yourself. Thanks for watching. I'm Nick Cubis, and if you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to info at offsetpedal.com.